I think any, that anybody wants to come here, they have to be um, interested in a couple things. You have to walk through the door with the desire to experience what it's like to study with a master. And we're in an age that doesn't have masters. The teacher in so many cultures is not the master of the student, the teacher is the servant of the student, and you won't find that here. It is probably the closest thing you will ever know to what it would be like as a painter to, uh, to study with Chagall or Picasso, or as a sculptor to, to study with Rodin. Mary is concerned with a lot more than dancing. She's concerned about making you into an artist. Even though Mary, as a knee replacement, even though she now has to do much of her teaching sitting because she's still not comfortable with moving full out on, on her, her new bionic knee, uh, she finds a way of expressing what it is, what it is that's inside, inside dancing with every means that she has and communicates it very well. It's still one of the most beautiful dancers I've ever seen. Run, and two, and three, and four. Hinge, strike. First time I walked in here was in 1983, and it was nothing of what I had expected. We were doing things that I just had no, I'd never even done before, never even thought about where your focus is, or where your arm is, where your eyes are, how you're feeling. It was all movement before that. Anyway, I did the audition and I was terrible. <laughs> and I got a phone call, um, I don't know, a few days later, and, and Mary said, I just wanted to inform you that you've been accepted on the scholarship here at the Mary Anthony Dance Studio. And I was ecstatic, I was so happy. I, you know, I thought it must have been because I was so great. And actually, she said, and it's not because you're so great but I could see the passion for dance that you have. I, I loved it. I was eating it like food. It was so good. And I was also scared because it was very confronting. It is sometimes very uncomfortable because she can see into you very deeply and very closely. And though Mary is a gentle and a compassionate person, uh, oh, she will sometimes show you things about yourself that you're not always completely prepared to see. Yeah, in, in other words, almost all of you had your hand too high. Almost all of you had your head too high. So if you put your third... And I was just daily, every day, several times a day, reminded that I didn't know everything. Shoulder goes down onto my back. Things have happened in here that I never would have dreamt of. And I've been here long enough to see how many people have evolved into fantastic dancers. I mean, really good dancers. I came to the studio for the first time probably three or four years ago. But at that time I was very undecided. I came from Russia to the new country and I was praying basically God to show me a sign what to do. Mary came up to me right after that and offered me a, a partial scholarship. And I wanted to cry because I here I got the sign that I, I can do art. This is the world where I and I can be totally myself. Of course, I always have my fears and doubts, but yes, people here are wonderful and they're all very sweet and encouraging. I love it here. It's my second home. As I say, that what I'm trying to offer is this kind of rounded experience instead of just going and taking a technique class that you get a rounded experience if you decide that this is the place that you want to study that is more than technique it's a way of life I was very influenced by a Greek director named Michael Koikoyanis where they brought Greek plays to Broadway and performed them in Greek and I was moved by the chorus you know it did all these amazing 20 of them at a time you know, where he made them able to do what they were doing with the drum beat. And I have used that in teaching actors, where I teach them that you can speak in a rhythm. You can make it rich or poor. There are some people who have to have a lip wash to make them work harder. One good one, Nicole, not three bad ones. Some people have to be petted like a Siamese cat to say, no, it's on its way. I think you know it well enough to do the whole thing, you do. When I was fairly set in my ways, I got to Martha Graham and, uh, have taken from her 
what I feel a very, very important use of the body, which is the contraction, which is the body when all the air has been driven out of it, and a release when it fills again with air, that she took those two activities and turned them into a vocabulary. But I do say one thing that's very important. There's a drawing up there by Da Vinci of a man standing in a circle, and I emphasize it right off the bat, that you step into the circle of creativity and you permit yourself to be created through. So you're not so personally responsible about it being good or bad. Just keep the channel opening, and it will. I'm not so sure what is happening today, where in touch improvisation, just how creative is that? I don't know. I don't know. You can tell I'm old fashioned. I believe in structure and form and music. Yeah, I really do. And that's old fashioned. It really is old fashioned. But I don't care. I can't change my spots. <laughs> I hope you are coming here for your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual center, because that's what I hope I can offer a centering of your life. Okay. <laughs> that's it. Thank you, everybody.